the reason why I was so behind getting my license I never felt that I could do it and I didn't feel that I could manage it and I thought that it's just something that is just in the too hard basket and it's just not going to be something that I can manage. Why is um, that? <laughs> because I think my development went a lot slower than everybody else's. It's only been at like age 26 that like now I'm starting to do the things that people were doing at school when they were 18 and I think just I develop one of the things with Asperger's or autism is you like you develop like slow slower and um, it was always kind of the joke in the family like why don't you have your license and now I finally did it after 11 years I could have had my license. Well you got the first part. I had the first part but so I was never can... driving and just didn't have that independence. What's it like driving around the city? It's still so surreal to me that like this thing that I believed I would never do I'm doing and um, uh, it's it's still pretty scary I mean I, I don't think I actually acknowledge what i am actually achieved <laughs> Hi. So this is not an angle that you are used to seeing. Um, I don't think I've actually ever filmed in a car before, but um, hi, welcome. Um, welcome to my car. I don't actually know quite what I want this video to be, um, but what I did know was this particular topic was not something that I saw people with autism talking about and so I felt as though I needed to make it for someone else who is struggling. So um, driving, driving and Asperger's or driving and autism. Um, I am 26 years old and I got this car um, about a month ago now. I have had years and years of mentally psyching myself up for the day that I would ultimately buy my first car or be driving by myself. I've had years and years of practice and also years and years of thinking that actually I was never going to drive by myself. It was not going to be something that I wanted to do. I never had that interest. I never had that strong will um, commitment, I guess you would say, that I witnessed everybody else have. I was always the passenger and that's the role that I knew myself as. I was never this independent person. So how did I get here? How did I get to this point with driving my car? Um, quite honestly, it was through growing up and aging and wanting something more for my life. Wanting to take my dog Gus to the places that he wanted to go to. Not only that, it was being able to purchase my first car. Um, I don't have... I don't know if you can see, but I don't really have the kind of first shitty car that everyone kind of goes through when they're 16. I haven't done that. What I've done is I've purchased this car and it's like, I mean, it's a really nice car. I'll show you guys it in a minute, but it's a really nice car and it's also a five star safety rating. So for me, those things really pushed me to be able to get onto the road to make it my own. As you can see, I've got a little um, Rose Quartz Love Heart Crystal and a, an American <laughs> air freshener. I've got, you know, different sensory things like baby wipes and chewing gum, a nice smell in here and my music, Google Maps. I have put money into this car so that I would drive and I, I the things that I've put in this car 
have been to just take away a little bit of anxiety so I guess what I'm trying to say is you can be on the autism spectrum and you can drive and you can live an independent life and you can kind of maneuver yourself around where you want to go and yes you're going to overthink absolutely freaking everything and yes drivers are going to kind of freak you out a little like when they beep at you or if you're not going as fast as everyone else does it's just about I guess focusing inward breathing and I kind of stick close um nearby um although I am pushing myself maybe tomorrow and going a lot further than my neighborhood but I think the key is to start off small um especially if you're in your own car you I think want to do it you'll want to explore rather than you know borrowing someone's car you'll want to go through drive throughs and and go to the places that you enjoy and I think that's the key quite honestly I started off with the supermarket because it was a necessity I had to do it and I've slowly progressed to getting my nails done at the mall and eating um and uh i'm still not there i'm still kind of not managing the motorway quite yet but i'm getting there it's all on baby steps and i just kind of wanted to say like you're gonna be okay basically you'll get there even if it's not at age 26 or 16 or 36 i think you'll know when the time is right because everyone was telling me get your license, you need to get your license, and it was it was never going to come from anyone else, it was always going to have to come from myself, and I was going to have to want to get my license, so, um, yeah, this is just all a whole lot of advice that um, people kind of told me. Um, anyway, here's my car, it is a little Nissan Juke, um, so obviously um, you can't see right now, but I can get google maps on here my music and this is what calms me down i love the color there's gussie he's just sitting with me um i got nice um seat covers because this was for like texture for me i want to just yeah just something nice um we've got some strawberry mints down there and some strawberry chewing gum there yeah i kind of have this little racy car it's really really cute and i love it <laughs> i'll show you the outside so obviously I can't show you the number plate, but she's a little black little car. Let me just let this dog out. Come on, babe. Come on. Good boy. And my favorite part of this was that my mum always said that when I finally got the confidence, I was going to be racing around like a little racing car. And now I have some racing stripes that uh, kind of makes my car a little bit different. So I love it. Ultimately, what I am trying to say to you guys who are on the autism spectrum, or maybe you're not even on the autism spectrum, maybe you just struggle with driving, persist with it. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to cry a lot. And um, you're going to feel stressed out. But you will get there and I know that you'll get there and I think you just need to follow that feeling inside your chest or inside you know somewhere inside your body where it's it's telling you we want to do this we want to try this out we want to explore what this what this feels like this independence feels like so push for that feeling it's a roller coaster of emotions but you'll get there and um if you have any questions please let me know um but yeah, I just wanted to make this quick little video because it's a big moment in my life. I was able to tick that off my New Year's resolutions for 2022. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching me on my journey and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.